Gling is the closest thing to an assistant editor that I have found. Not only does it remove silences, but also bad takes. And its multicam export is one of its powerful tools. But to set it up properly takes a few steps. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do multicam in Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and yes, even in Premiere Pro. So this is gonna be a simple walkthrough of how to use multicam export in Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and even Premiere Pro. Yes, there is a way, and I'll show you that uh, at the end. So if you're interested in that, just skip ahead to that. But first we're gonna start with Final Cut Pro, because that is the first one here. So after you've done your whole uh, selection, everything is good, you've added your padding or not, just press export, multicam export, save it to where you wanna save it. And once that's done, just find where you had that XML, double click it, it will open up your library and you just place it where you want to place it. Bam, there it goes. Or vice versa, you can actually take it and go file, import, XML, and then just find the XML and do the same thing and then just import it. So it just did the same thing. So that's two ways to import it. And then once you're here, you have your, all your edits that were done in Gling. One of the best practices that I like I like to rename the multicam clip. So once you've renamed the clip, just double click on it. And in the app, Gling only works with that one video angle and audio that it does all the splicing to. So we need to import all the other audio channels. So if you have multiple camera angles or external audio, just go and import it. I'm just going to click on the video clip here, reveal in browser, because then that brings it into the browser. And then I'm gonna click on that video clip and then go reveal in folder because I know I had the second angle beside the first camera angle. So here's that second camera angle. This is a screen capture, but the audio is the same. And you can't just drag it and drop it. We need to create a second angle. Just click on right here where it says angle one and add angle. And now you can drag and drop your second camera angle. But the audio is out of sync, so what do we do? So with the clip selected, click on this little drop down and then go sync selection to monitoring angle. And what that's going to do is sync this clip to the angle above because the first camera angle is typically the monitoring angle. So now you can see that all the audio is synced up. And even if we zoom in, you can see these claps are all together. And if you're having a hard time syncing everything up, you can always do it manually. Ideally, if you have claps like so, you can just manually line them up. But if you do find that they're off a little bit, you can move them so they are precise. So that's how you add your second camera angle. Just make sure you name it. So cam two, and then I'm gonna cam one. So now our angles are matched. And we can go back to the main timeline and you can start switching between the different camera angles. If you wanna to switch to the other camera angle, just right click on the clip you want, active video angle and switch it to the other one. Uh, the other way to do it, if you wanna do multiple clips, you can just select a whole bunch of them and then go up to the inspector up here, click on the eye, make sure you're in a setting that can show you the video angles and then you can just click and then change all those to your other angle as you see fit. So that's in Final Cut Pro and you can just go and edit. So if you use audio only for Gling, just know that the frame rate may come in a little bit differently. In this example, this video clip is 29.97 frames per second, while this audio clip is coming in and creating a timeline that is 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames a second. So to fix that, you'd have to Select everything, copy it, create a new project or timeline, use custom settings, make sure you're at the right frame rate and the right resolution, new project. And then when you open it up, you paste everything in here, but then you're gonna have to go in to your multicam and in Final Cut, it should play back properly. But one of the things that I recommend is instead of only using the external audio for Gling, I would first bring it into the editor and sync it up to the video, export that video, then use that as a proxy for Gling to be able to have the right dimensions and the right frame rate for your video. 
So for DaVinci Resolve, same process, go to export, click on resolve. I'm just gonna call this DR for DaVinci Resolve, click save. Then we can go to DaVinci Resolve, click file, go to import and then timeline, find the XML, click import, make sure your settings are correct, like your resolution that it matches the footage you're gonna be bringing in, click okay. And then if we zoom out, there are all the edits and we can select the, I like to rename it, then right click, go open in timeline. Then you see your multicam and we're gonna do the same thing where we're gonna bring in that second angle and grab your second clip, drop it in, select everything, right click, go to auto align clips and then based on waveform. Let DaVinci do its thing and everything is synced up. There are the three claps. Now, if anything is ever off, you can move it manually and you can just listen back. And everything is lined up. And then we can go back to our main. You just wanna make sure that when you're in your timeline, you wanna have the multicam come up. Just click on this little drop down and click on multicam. So now you see two multicams. And if you wanna switch multiple clips, the way I do it is I press the option key or alt on a PC, select all the video clips that you want, ensuring that you don't select the audio clips, go up to clip, go to multicam switch, and then switch to the other angle. So that way it only switches the video and not the audio, because it'll do that for both. So now we have that, and then you can just go on and start editing as you would. And again, if you're using external audio to do your edit in Gling, just know that there is a potential for the frame rates and the resolution to not be correct. So we're just gonna import that as an example to show you. So I'm importing that external audio only that was in Gling, bring that in. It's coming in at 1920 by 1080, so you can set that, but the, the frame rate is 24, where I know that the video that I was working with is 29.97 frames per second. So if we open that timeline and I drop in the video, there's a potential for it to be out of sync or have the wrong frame rate or resolution that you'll have to jump through a few hoops to make it work. So I definitely recommend taking your your camera one video and your external audio, syncing it together, exporting a proxy and using that in Gling instead of just using the external audio. It'll just save you a lot of headaches down the road. And there is a way to bring in the Multicam into Premiere Pro, but it's a little bit tedious, but it can get you there. So export Pro, double click on your, on your project window, import your clip, then you have a sequence and you have your clip. And if you open the timeline, it's there, but it's not a Multicam. So make sure you have all your, all your clips for your Multicam, select your camera A, right click, new sequence from clip, then bring in your second camera angle, select them all, right click, go to synchronize, make sure audio is set, and that quickly synchronizes everything. So now we have two camera angles. I'm just going to rename this to multi-cam sequence. So now we have our multi-camera sequence, but this isn't a multi-cam yet. So what we do is we go back to our original sequence and you should be able to drag and replace while pressing shift and option before you drop your clip onto all these clips and the time should work. But as you see, the audio gets all out of whack. So it's not doing what we want it to do. However, and this is where the tedious part comes in. If you select the multicam sequence and then just one by one, replace it, it replaces it properly. And I don't know if I, I'm just doing something wrong, but this is the only way I've been able to get it to work. It's tedious, one by one, trying to replace all those. So if you edit your A-roll without worrying about visually what's on screen. So if you have an interview, just make sure that the audio is good and you want it and it sounds good. So after you've, you've replaced everything, select all the clips. I didn't do the entire thing, I'm just doing the, the front half, but 
as you see, it's pretty fast. Once you've done that, select the all the clips, right click, go to multicam, click enable. Now we have all these clips as a multicam. And then you just want to go to the settings and then click on multicam viewer. And there we go. And so at any point, you can just select the clip and just change the edit. Or you can use the one or two key to edit between them. That is the best way I found to get Gling Multicam into Premiere Pro as a workaround. It's a little tedious, but it can be done if you're determined enough. Also, if you're ready to learn Final Cut Pro in under 30 days, check out my course, Enhanced Editing, with over 10 hours of lessons focused on everything Final Cut Pro has to offer to help you master your craft and elevate your story. Link is in the description. As always, thanks for watching.